Hello, I want to show you my Davison MCA, but first I need uh, to set up the detector with a check source. This thing here is a lead castle. Inside there is a PMT that was prepared by my friend uh, uh, Luke uh, Timmerman. This is the BST box with uh, HV cable and BNC for pulse output. Basically, there is just a 1 mega ohm resistor here in series with HV and a coupling capacitor of 10 nanofarad, uh, 3 kV. Here in the LED castle, small uh, LED peak, sorry, there is some cesium test source. And I, you can see the detector is a well type sodium iodid um, device, it's 40 millimeter per 50 millimeter depth. I'm going to use the standard check source here. The thickness is 50 millimeter. This is just some tape I've put to don't let the paint to stick with the cover that I have here is made of lead, lead, okay. So now it's closed. And uh, the multi-channel analyzer is here. It has on the back the power button. And uh, let's start to familiarize with controls. Marker location. You can see there is something that is moving this is the marker that allows you to select regions of interest like this peak here and uh, you can light this section and you see the counts of this section so first control moves the marker this button here pe uh, allows you to add the marker in the memory or reset the markers intensities for screen uh, you can make a bit dimmer okay or brighter now that is a bit dimmer you can better see Roy being highlighted, highlighted. Sorry. This is the focus control. In the marker width, you can make the marker narrower and wider. Hmm? Also, you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, and scroll horizontally with marker location. This spectra is just trash, some bad spectra overlapping. How memories works? Uh, well, one moment. First, the vertical uh, scale is regulated by display. Linear with various degrees and logarithmic. I say various degrees of uh, maximum number of pulses, so uh, it doesn't change the scale automatically. You just have to select how what's the correct uh, vertical scale or set to logarithmic. I, I usually prefer to stay at, at the beginning at on two, then switch manually. And I've said uh, memory, memory, memory. This this is the button, the, the, the rotary knob that uh, selects memory resolution. Uh, from 1 to 8 on the left is uh, 512 kilobits. No, sorry, bits. 512 bits resolution. There, there are some spectra recorded previously here because it can store various spectra on various memory location 
uh, there are two batteries on the back that uh, keep the memory with the spectras. This is 4K, so 4 kilobit, 500 bit, 4 kilobit, one single memory location with 4 kilobit, two memory location with 2 kilobit, and four uh, memory location with 1 kilobit. And OL means uh, it will print everything from the printer port. So let's, uh, let's select one kilobit, how to cancel all the data. Now we are in display mode. If you want to do this kind of manipulation, you must be in display mode. Look at reset button here, reset data and reset time. This is for testing purposes. Counts time. Reset time. This button, lever, not button, shows all uh, region of interest, all just in row. How time works, increase time, subtract time, data, increase, subtract. This could be used if you have uh, already saved spectra and you wish to compare with another sample by simply uh, run another spectra over that channel, uh, memory channel with uh, time subtract and data subtract. That way uh, you can see um, when the time uh, arrives to zero, uh, it stops and you can see the differences between the two spectra. Okay, uh, so we have reset the data and time, other controls, gain is normal, nothing special with this control, uh, lower level uh, detection threshold, upper level detection threshold, convolutional gain, offset, DC offset, amplifier, amplifier from inside there is an amplifier connected with this gain, or PMT decided everything, I, I prefer to use amplifier, I don't know CNC, CN what is, this is the gate, gate, something with gates, I don't know. Mode, mode is uh, T, means time, so you can select here for how much it will uh, take the spectra. So 10 seconds, 40 seconds, I, I, till now I use this time or continuously, continuously, I think. MCS, I don't know what what will be. Let's try. 10 seconds, time. The settings are good. Convolutional gain to one. And let's run our spectra. By the way, HV is up. And uh, accumulate. Press this to start accumulation of pulses. If you don't see stuff, means that maybe you have to change this vertical scale. And we... Oh, what's happened? It stopped. Why? Look. Display is there. But what changed is that... What, what triggered the, the stop is the time I've chosen 10 seconds. Let's integrate for... 40 seconds. How to restart? Just press accumulate. Look. And it restarts from 10 seconds. Okay, so uh, I'm using 1 kilo channels. Uh, if I'm using 1 kilo channels, 600 kilo electron volts should be here, uh, approximately a bit over the half. So I have to rest the gain. Okay, stop. Display. Perfect. But let's rise the gain with convolutional gain to two, reset data, reset time, 100 seconds, no, 40 seconds, accumulate. And yeah, it's a bit uh, over the half. Let's try to Convolution guide to 4 is to hide here, but 
I can reduce the gain of amplifier reset data is not possible during operation. Let's reduce the gain here to five. Stop display, reset data, start. Okay, a bit more than five, six, stop, display, reset data, reset time, accumulate. You can see that convolution again is a way to move stuff, but look. Is not the solution. So now you see how how to deal with this stuff. Let's go back to eight gain. Accumulate is there. I wish to put there. So I raise the PMT voltage by 50 volts. Let's rise to 100 volts. And I see that it moved. It moved. I think I can rise even a bit. I'm still in. Oh, sorry. Reset data. Oh, sorry. I have not rested the time. Too high. I have to go down a bit. Okay. Is in the place I, I, I wish to see it, so stop. Display, set time properly, 100 seconds, reset time, reset data, accumulate. And now we can see the spectra is building up with my shaking hand, yeah. It's a bit uncomfortable to take a video for 12 minutes with only an hand free. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, switch to logarithmic to have some automatic vertical scaling. I can go a bit lower with ULD. No, LLD. Mm, too high. And this is my six and a half percent FVHM sodium iodide crystal from Luke with well, well type crystal. Can you believe? Look, this is noise. You should regulate ULD to cancel the noise. Noise comes from the HV power supply. I think it's better to reset time, reset data, and restart to clean the spectra. This way I will get a cleaner spectra. Okay, uh, what else? On the side panels, on this side panel, there are some settings made with some switches. You can select polarity of the pulses. You can select the kind of amplifier that you can move here. There is a trans impedance amplifier, I, I think, or a charge sensitive amplifier. I don't remember which, but you can select something even at that, at that level. On the other side, you have access to the boards. All the boards composing the system are uh, could be extracted singularly to be cleaned, etc. There, there is a, a modular design with all the boards uh, in a in a stack with a backplane, uh, similarly to a computer cards, you know, something uh, very modular. And I really, I really like, I really appreciate how how they have uh, designed this piece of hardware. It's a very nice device. Oh, CNC, ACN. I don't know what this. I don't know. But I'm thinking maybe... 
coincidence, anti-coincidence, something like that, con ACN, maybe something at the little, oh, stop, stop is, re is ready. I think you can connect on the back a bell that will ring when it stops. It will be cool. Okay, this is cesium 137. Let's try with Roy. Marker width, marker location. This is the marker. Let's let's take a look at the the peak. Okay. I wish I want to see the number of counts in Roy. Okay, I've select the peak. Enter Roy. Counts twenty nine. Oh, this is the correct. All. These are number of counts in Roy. Uh, look, marker width. If I reduce the Roy, it reduces the counts. Okay, so it's correct. Pa 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 pa. Mm. Marker width. So it's a good idea to center on the peak and then 22 kilo pulses in row. Yeah, I have the boundaries here, left and right. Look, left and right, then the number of the channels. So this peak is from channel 625 to channel 728 with 22 kilo pulses. On the channel, hmm. it's cool. I don't know how to measure the eight of this this pulse, this uh, of this uh, peak. Maybe if I um, enter Roy, okay, I reduce the width of the marker to zero. Yeah. I know exactly the eight of the the channel is four hundred thirty eight pulses. This way, with a single very small peak, I can pick the eight of left and right channels and calculate the baseline slope and calculate uh, the FVHM by hand. Oh, cool! <laughs>